Well, every year is a little different. You see um, different boats, you know, uh, different way the people are, are varying their boats to try and achieve a, a, a competitive boat. Uh, one thing we've got going for us this year is we've got some decent weather. Every year the weather's a little different. Really interesting, you know, trying to get enough sun so they can charge their batteries, things like that. I mean, there's always different challenges every year. That little uh, piece right there that you, you take off, it's like, I don't know. Because it, it it pull that back over. the gear, it makes the noise. It passes by the gear. So what is it is a chain? Yeah, let's just start chaining up a little bit. It's a little slack. Yeah, it's too tight. Grab the 916s, let's okay. give it a little slack. How's it going, everybody? Pretty good. Hello. So we're going to go through category by category. Looks like you got good smooth operation, cover cables, drive alignment, electrical system. We're looking at fusing, wire sizing, connections, and your battery tie down. Tow rope, float, bilge pump, and mounting, power on warning lamp. The communication device you're going to be using. The caution sticker, fit and finish, wood quality, woodworks, your launch retrieval plan, and your safety plan. Paint looks good, woodwork looks good, graphics are awesome, so yeah, nice work everybody. Great. Great. Looks great. And all that stuff. Yep, yeah. well done. that I like the most is watching the races. The engineering side of it, I mean, you look at these boats and you would think they won't ever go that fast, uh, but they, they can fly. I mean, they really, really run very well. And uh, sometimes it's heartbreaking when you get your boat on the water, you start it up and you take off and it stops and you don't know why. The slalom, it's the ultimate test of a boat's agility. The objective is to weave around a set of buoys in the fastest time possible. Speed. The objective of the sprint is simple. Be the fastest boat to cross the lake. Run two, got the best time of the day right now going. Yeah, that sounded weird. Yeah. It hit it so hard it pulled our tension around. So we had, so we had some slop in our chain. Over 53 contributors uh, for this whole entire PSA. We set up a Google Drive where the people with, or with students would upload their own videos of how they used water 
normally in their daily lives. Here is our PSA. to do a lot more to conserve water. Continue saving. Contact your local water conservation agency. thought process from the beginning to, to, uh, to setting up some short-term goals to long-term goals to see it all finish up at the end is a, is a great thing. You know, so, so much time goes into uh, just immediate you know, gratification for so many things and then this one being such a long-term project lets kids set those goals and then meet them at the end. So, uh, so overall educationally it's a, it's a great thing to do. You know, uh, plus combines a, a variety of different disciplines, you know, the, the mechanics and electrical, of course, but the, uh, uh, the English side of it, of doing the research and writing the reports, and the, the creative side, doing the videos and, and all, all that kind of stuff. But all that all goes into it. Agility and speed aren't the only hallmarks of a great boat. A great boat should also be able to stay on the water for an extended period of time, also known as endurance. great thing about it is you, you watch the young people be competitive, uh, but at the same time, um, they root on the other teams. Uh, the sharing and stuff of that nature, I think, is, um, is a good thing. Um, it teaches them to, uh, to work together, uh, not only as a team, but uh, you know, intermingle with other teams that uh, have the opportunity to, to do some great things. 